here we are in Final Cut Pro 10. I've already launched my project and I have a voiceover set up to showcase how to use this censoring technique. So at the moment we're just going to focus on audio. So here we have some audio and for your reference instead of swearing I've used the word flappers. So the word that we are going to be censoring in this is going to be flappers. So for your reference, I've used the word flappers, and that is the word that we're going to censor. So let's have a listen to the audio to see where flappers is mentioned. So yeah, like I was saying, you can flappers your flappers message out of here. I don't give nothing about your flappers. So there we go. That is the original audio. And now I'm about to teach you how to censor the word flappers if you're targeting a specific word which in your case would be a swear word so let's move over a good thing that you can actually do is you can actually go up to this icon here on the right hand side just below your inspector window and we're going to click it here we can actually make audio wider thicker so we can focus more on it you can actually make it even thicker by selecting this one another thing you can do is you can actually zoom in on your trackpad if you have a trackpad using the uh, zoom gesture that you would use on your iPhone or you can use your mouse and using the scroller you can actually zoom in on your timeline so we're going to do that here so let's press play and highlight where it says the word flappers the first one so yeah like I was saying you can flap so flappers begins at this sound right here flappers what you can actually do is you can actually mark this sound so you know where the word flappers is being used. Hover your player head over the sound and press with the sorry with the audio selected press the letter M. This has now marked the timeline where flappers is being mentioned. Let's actually do this for the rest of the timeline now. Right here I've actually made the wrong marker, what you can actually do is you can double click it and then hit delete. What we can then do is we can cut at the beginning and the end of the sound. So pressing selecting B will bring up your cutting tool. You want to select the beginning of the sound and the end. We can do the same for the others. If it is one voice mentioning the word, you will actually see that the sound waves look quite similar. As you can see. Selecting A will bring you back to your selection tool. From here, you want to actually go to your effects panel. So if you've updated your Final Cut Pro 10, the effects panel will be in this icon just here. At this point, with either all and audio selected in your effects panel, you want to go down to the search and you want to type in the word test. This will bring up an effect called test oscillator. This is a specific sound that sounds like a censoring beep. From here, what you want to do is you want to drag the test oscillator over the top of the audio, which is your swearing, what you want to censor. So yeah, like I was saying, you can f***ers your f***ers message out of here. I don't give nothing about your f***.